when it comes to um, renewing your resident permits, um, temporary resident permit TRC in Germany, uh, most times, well, let me say like all these at least in the states um, or in the cities which have actually lived in Germany, two months before your resident permit actually expires, uh, the the office as letter builder, they always send you like a letter and in this letter, they always state all the documents in which you need to submit. Also, most times, they always take the documents in which they have already in their, um, in their system. So they just need the ones you need to submit. So they take out the ones which they already um, they have already and they will tell you the ones in which you need to provide to renew your TRC. So in this video, I'm just going to be... Um, Telling you those documents um, which you actually need. So, if you're going to be renewing your resident permit very soon um, as a student, um, this video is actually for you and you can start getting those documents ready, especially if you are currently um, doing your student colleague. This is very, very important for you. As you know, I am Akiri Ebulua and welcome back to the channel. So, quickly, we are just going to uh, go into this and i'm going to be listing out those documents in i'm just going to be listing out those documents and just stay tuned to the end of the video um it might be a little bit long just stay to the end of the video so you get those documents and you can just load them down and you can just uh, search it for them right now in case you don't have them so the first um document in which you actually need is always your valid um passport so if your passport is currently going to expire very soon uh we just ask you to start renewing your passport if you're nigerian um in Germany, um, you have just two options, uh, the embassy in Frankfurt and the one in in Berlin. Um, for the one in Frankfurt, I would say those guys there, they really don't know what they are doing. So it's going to be a waste of time going to them. I'm not just going to talk about them. The one in Berlin, uh, they are not 100% or so, but at least you can get your stuff done. Um, they have a website which you can actually book your appointment. But most times those appointments don't work. I'm just telling you the truth right here. So the appointment don't work. Just go there as early as possible and get your stuff done. Yeah, so your valid password is number one. And two is um comment biometric photo. So you need to get some pictures done. And yep, um for the um they, you can also make pictures at the period that yeah, they have this automat which you can use to take pictures. It's kind of expensive, but if you go to um the likes of DM. Um, to take your photos, they are much more cheaper. Yeah. So next document is completed application form for a temporary resident permit. Like I said, they always send you this uh this letter. Yeah, you get this envelope which contains which actually contains the list of documents which you need. And there's in this envelope again, there is always a form in which you need to complete. Yeah, there's always a form which you actually need to complete. I'll probably get a picture just to put it on the screen for you to see. Um, yeah, I will get a picture uh, when I'm editing this video just to put it on the screen for you to see how do that form looks like. You need to fill out the form. Fill out the form. Uh, make sure you don't make any mistake that doesn't cause for questioning by the time you actually go for the appointment. Yeah. And next is going to be your certificates of registration. Certificates of registration. That means maybe in school if you're in school that it shows that you are working you're studying in this particular school and this is where this comes tricky for those studying in student colleague um student colleague you need to be sure that the student colleague which you actually currently studying is recognized by the government is recognized in your state in your state where you're actually studying where you're having a student colleague i know i'm saying that um uh, there was a problem or there are some student colleagues which are actually not recognized in some states. So if you are studying this student colleague and you need to renew your resident permit, um, if you submit the document of this student colleague at the bureau that you know, okay, this is what I'm currently doing right now. If it's a private, most time it's always private student colleague. Yeah, 100% is always private student colleague. The resident, the affluent builder, they will tell you that this student colleague is actually not recognized. Therefore, you need to submit another document. The problem here is, um, without showing a document of what you are currently doing, 
your resident permit will not be renewed yes your resident permit will not be and this happens most time with the private student college so be sure if you are going to be studying at the private student college be sure that this private student college the document from this private student college you can actually use it to renew your resident permit in case you have just maybe one year and before you finish the student college um it's the the permit you have on your right now will not cover until you finish the student college you need to renew so be sure check that make sure you talk to the student colleague and make sure you are really really sure about that because i wasn't same problem yeah i'm not going to go into details about that but make sure you check it this is really important for those doing this student colleague um your proof of insurance is always a uh, is always needed you need to show that you have a valid uh, health insurance yeah yeah there are a lot of health insurance yeah, which are actually good so just uh, make sure you have one up uh, your proof of secure livelihood your proof of secure livelihood two ways is it that you block account or you have a fairly strong eclairing if you have a fairly strong eclairing you just make a copy or take everything attach it to the form and when you go for your appointment take along your Fish tongue, air clear. They are going to see all these this there, and they are not going to be asking too many questions because they know what that means. If you don't have a fair fish tongue, claim that comes to your block account, so make sure it's completed. Yeah, make sure you have all the money in the block account right now. It's the 10,000 plus. Make sure you have those 10,000 plus in the account. And if the money gets increased, in case you are watching this, you are going to be watching this video later, maybe in two years, in three years' time. Um, Check the block account and make sure you have the right amount in the account because you are actually have to show that. Um, your proof of purpose, um, this depending on the type of resident permit you apply for, uh, you may need to submit additional documents such as employment contract, um, certificate of enrollment, which is in school or your know, pension plan or something. So these are other stuff, but those documents which are actually stated, those uh, the things that are very 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 important if you're already in school and you need to just renew your stuff that you don't have a problem just take along your your school enrollment or um, certificate or whatever you know, just take it along they can see the dates there and they can see how long it takes for your study to complete so they're going to renew your stuff i mentioned valid passport i mentioned current biometric photo completed form which they, they will send to you by themselves your certificates of registration i uh, said maybe in your school or maybe in student college or whatever your proof of health insurance your proof of secure livelihood i mentioned two ones i mentioned the fair fish to claim and i also mentioned um the block account and yeah those are the key documents which are actually needed in the form that they will send it to you you are going to see all those things which you need to submit right there uh so the application fee there's only a fee anyway the application fee is not really so expensive it's just like i'm um, 50 to 110 euros let me just put it in that category depending on the states where you are also you know everything in Germany depending on where you are because you can't categorize um the german state they all have their different opinions or different stuff um yeah so um let me just put it 50 to 110 euros for your application fee which you have to pay you are going to pay in that right at the builder so that is not uh that is not an issue so collecting your resident permit after you come for your appointment and everything you are collecting actually collecting in this video will be for you to subscribe to this channel so you can collect more videos next time and you don't get to miss out so also like this video and yeah that is collecting for this video does that make sense yeah it makes sense collecting subscribing yeah that's all so collecting your resident permit and you will get an appointment again and you just have to pick it up at the answer bureau because you need to do your thumb printing and you need to sign some stuff yeah that's collecting your resident permit and actually that's all for this video yeah if you don't get a document again just scroll a little bit behind to 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 the past some minutes past and you just see all the documents again and you are good to go for now um if you have some questions don't forget to put them in the uh in the in the comment section and i'm going to be answering all your questions uh yeah next year is coming very soon start getting your documents ready and because we are going to be dropping videos of uh 
the courses in which you can actually apply for right now in case you missed last video we're talking about the english courses you can actually apply to so um start getting your documents ready in case you have not in Germany yet and watch out for those videos i am akiri Ebunluwa once again and you know what as usual i will catch you in the next one bye for now